Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Coming at you from Mount Rushmore, South Dakota. And it's actually, yeah, just out of Keystone, which is just out of Rapid City. And if you've never been here, it's impressive. It is something that is well worth the trip. And the pictures cannot do it justice. This is the side of a mountain. <laughs> and this is my third time to be here. And the first time that I've actually gotten to see this in morning light. And, and you it, can see this makes a huge difference. It makes all the difference. And that's one of the things we want to point out to you. Um, is that this is the second time and my third time to be here. And that if you've never had the opportunity to see it in morning light, you want to do that. Yes. Another thing we just want to mention is, there is a path where you can go and get closer to the sculpture uh, called the President's Trail, and um, it is ADA accessible. However, if you go to the sculptor's uh, studio, there are stairs. Lots and, and lots of stairs. That is, you. it's actually a big loop. You go down that presidential path, and it's one big loop. You can go to the a section before the steps and go back the way you came, or you can keep going and going and going <laughs> and going. Then once you get to the bottom, you start back up. <laughs> And this is really impressive. I didn't get a lot of pictures in there because there was a tour going, uh, information being given, and I'd gotten there late, and I knew Mylene was waiting. But this is so impressive. That's what the statue, the sculpture was supposed to originally be, uh, but obviously they stopped with just the heads, and what goes down must also <laughs> come back up. And so... Um, I'll tell you for someone from Texas who is not used to a lot of steps, that was a lot of steps. The other thing, this is one of the most interesting things. It is the Lincoln, how you pronounce it? Borglum. Borglum uh, Museum. And it's easy to overlook. And you need to go there. It tells you more about Mount Rushmore. This was one of the studio models. And... Uh, there, the stuff that's in here, this is, we've been to a lot of museums, and in my opinion, this is the most in-depth, interesting... Where else are you going to know that uh, Washington's nose on the mountain is 23 feet long? And then the artifacts that they have that have been donated by various people, and... The photos, oh, it's just, and that's a thing, like, they call honeycombing. Uh, if you go and listen to the little uh, video, but then the actual drill bits, and the uh, this is the honeycombing where they actually had blasted down to within two to three inches, then they would do that and chisel it off. Um, they talk about the chisels that these guys were using, and the and, cable yes. that they were using to swing down the side of the mountain. And they've actually got this, these seats yes. and the, yes. all of this. And the photographs are just so incredible. A baseball team. The guys that worked on it, yeah, uh, made a baseball team. But if you get to Mount Rushmore, don't overlook this. No, that's something to see. Uh, how many tons of dynamite it took to blast out so that the faces could be carved into the mountain. And the, they and then they have one little interactive playing thing here where you can choose a section. <laughs> and I'm trying to do that with my sleeve because this is September of 2020. But you choose where you want it to blast and then you, ch you get to detonate that, <laughs> so to speak. Um, but this... You could stay in there for days yes. just reading and looking yes. at all of the artifacts that are there. Like I said, this is my third time, and I saw things in this museum that I hadn't seen before. And it is, it is, we spent more time, I think, in there actually looking at too. all of the information, but it gives you a better appreciation of what you're seeing on the mountain. And I mean, the mountain is impressive in itself. Things you may not know, just trivial things. Uh, Jefferson was supposed to be over Washington's 
shoulder on the right on the right instead of on the, on left. the left and it like I said this is one of the most impressive museums that I've ever seen and I know that we thoroughly have enjoyed our time at Mount Rushmore and we hope you've enjoyed our look at it. Thanks for watching Two Tired Teachers.